Alrighty, welcome back. Today, we're gonna be shooting the RX chassis. I'm super pumped. We're heading out to the ranch. It's a beautiful day. Let me show you something just really, really quick. Right, so a week ago, our daughter Olivia was born. Welcome, Olivia. First time mentioning you on the vlog. I don't know when you guys are watching this. But we decided to put up her own little tree for her, which I'm super pumped for. And that tree is gonna be able to grow with her. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, finished loading up the truck. Let's head to the range. Honestly, these suicide doors are like the coolest thing in the whole world. Now, to be honest, absolutely no idea why they call them suicide doors. Let's go. So I would definitely say I'm not a breakfast person, but since the baby came and I've been awake, actually she's been really good. Um, but yeah, let's sleep hungry earlier and it's muffin time. Oh, smoke. Will it? Crushing the muffin game, baby. So I just realized I left the BR ammo at home like a complete noob. Uh, I'm quickly gonna pop by the camera shop, pick up the BR ammo, and then we will be all right back. Ha, <laughs> see what I did there? Okay. Thanks Orms, new 4K cannon. Um, and a Pelican Volt for when we fly with ammo. So I decided to get a 4K camera. Initially I purchased a new Blackmagic Pocket 6K cinema camera with all the rigs super kitted out, set up. I haven't received that package yet, but then I was like, why do you want to make so much work for yourself? Because my whole thing is I want to be able to provide you guys with constant content and not increase the workflow. So that camera would have recorded at something like 500 megabytes per second of video. So then I was thinking about it last night and I was like, uh, do you know what, I really don't need that in my life. So I got the new Canon EOS R and we're gonna be doing 4K video from now on for the most part, I think. Um, anyway, back to our initial plan, which was going to shoot the Oryx. So I'm gonna swing by the house, pick up the ammo, and uh, then we'll head back to the range. Right, so that was a pretty unnecessary detour. We have the ammo, yes, it's in a yogurt bucket, because why not? Um, I'm gonna quickly zero the rifle. As mentioned in the previous video, if you haven't seen that, I'm gonna link that down below. I am fire forming this rifle, so we're not expecting the greatest accuracy. It is a 22 BR, also new bag, link in bio. Okay, so right off the bat, if you haven't seen this in the first video, I have actually tested whether the Hauer modified mag does fit um, the RX chassis. And today I have brought a plastic mag that we're gonna pop in, that seems to fit. The mag release is just a little tight, needs a little wiggle. I've also bought, brought with my modified metal mag for my other Hauer's. Now, we're shooting 22 BR, which is this little gem. And unfortunately, I don't have the BR mags yet, so I kind of have to load them like that. So keep in mind, if there are problems to feed or anything like that, it's got absolutely nothing to do with the chassis system. It is because I am using the wrong magazines. So let's check this lady is zero. We're gonna try those 
other mags now. So uptake PST Gen 2, uh, 5 to 25. I'm gonna get my parallax going. This is first round with the new RX chassis. Okay, that zero looks pretty good. Um, feels pretty soft. Having said that, this is a 22BR with a big muzzle brake on it. Okay. okay, so we've messed around enough. We're gonna be putting the RX through its paces now on the PRS style barricade behind me. We're probably gonna run into some mag issues because you know, this is how we're doing it. Let me show you that. Yes, that's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I do confirm though, the plastic 308 mags from MDT do not work. Okay, um, I have lost count. Okay, let's hope I have enough because the more you put in here, the higher our probability of having a failure is. So I'm going to try run the stage uh, and see if we can clear it. I don't know what the wind's doing at the moment. It's been a while since we shot because I did leave the rifle to let the barrel cool down a little bit. So, RX chassis, PRS barricade. Let's put 90 seconds on the clock and see what we can do. Hopefully we don't have any magazine issues. Let me dial, uh, I'm gonna need 1.6 target at 400 yards. Next to those big trees, I don't know if they're in the shot. Right, no pressure. I'm gonna stand at the back here. Okay, 90 seconds on the clock. And three, two, one, go. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. If I shoot a stage like this in real life, I would always remove me bipod. So we're gonna do it like we would do it in real life. Let's wind it up. 90 seconds back up on the clock. Three, two, one, uh, sunglasses off. Wow, is this amateur hour? Okay, last time, 90 seconds on the clock, 22 BR, RX chassis, 400 yards. Three, two, one, go. I'm gonna blitz this baby. Ooh, can't find the target, half a more. Does it hit? Ah! Okay, wait. We need one more. I'll take that. Just wanted to check that we didn't lose that round. Um, right, rifle is clear. Well, that was fun. Okay, so as I mentioned, I completely lost count uh, while chatting to you guys when I loaded up that mag. But I think that run went pretty good. Obviously in a match, there's no way they let you run back, grab ammo and put it back in your gun. But I think, I'm not sure what our time was. That wasn't too bad. Um, overall, this is my very first time shooting it. So I'm gonna tell you guys that if you're a a competent rifleman it's gonna serve you fine for the price super cheap I'm gonna put the price in dollar here and the price in Rand in South Africa over here because obviously if you're first time watching my channel I'm from Africa South Africa to be specific anyway feels pretty solid um, 
the note bag. In fact, let's do one no bag shot and just... This is an empty mag, by the way. I'm surprised at how well that mag ran. I just grab my ear I just want to see if I can hit the shot with no bag to test how stable this rifle is. very quick problem. And what I like about it, it's pretty flat on the front and that's why I'm able to get a super solid purchase. It's got a nice little barricade block over here. Um, first time shooting it, first impressions. I'm pretty happy with it. It's taking me some getting used to because, I'm gonna put it like this so you can see how beautiful it is. It's taking me a little bit of getting used to because the magwell's a little bit further back it feels um, from the edge of the barricade. Because I'm used to my ACC which if you see this bit, the mag just goes right behind that, um, but not the case with this one. So I just got to go all the way to the back and then in no problem. Once again, I have modified this mag. Let me know if you want to see a video on how I modified it. This is a 12 round mag. I am waiting on the BR mag variants for this specific rifle, but I think RX knocked it out the park. So if you didn't watch part one of this video, I have made some modifications to this. So. The rifle you will get won't have this adjustable vertical grip. You will have a normal AR-15 style pistol grip and that's fine for most people. The reason I've put this one on here, I've got smallish hands and that works really well for me there. Then I've got an Arca Swiss plate on the front. Let me show you that in a little bit more detail. That is what we're working with. And the reason I've done that is just that I can get my bipod on easily let me show you how that works if you've never seen arca swiss now this is actually camera technology so that's going to allow me to do this with my bipod mid-stage and just get it off really quickly and put it on really quickly too so as mentioned this was my first time shooting this rifle today and i am thoroughly impressed uh, for the price point what they've done is amazing i think let me just adjust my grip before i drop this thing i will do sort of an updated video in a few months i've got a whole bucket of ammo and then you will probably also see this rifle in my 22 BR series. So check out the link below for the first video on that because that's where this rifle is going to stay in. We're probably going to be doing some varminting stuff with Gino from G&G &G pretty soon with something very similar to this if Gino doesn't give me one of his super pumped out ARs. Hint, hint, Gino. Let's do it. Comment down below if you think Gino should give me a super wildcat caliber AR to do some videos with. <laughs> Sorry Gina. Anyway, I'm gonna try and get through the rest of this bucket and uh, you guys should have a lovely week. If it's your first time watching my channel, please consider subscribing. Smash the thumbs up, comment down below what you think of the RX chassis. Have you picked one up? Any tips and tricks for guys setting up theirs? Again, how a mod, I'll probably do a video on that to make this magazine work. Thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Have fun, bye. Alrighty, welcome to bonus time. A lot of people actually don't know that at the end of these videos, hang on. Okay, welcome back to bonus time. A lot of people don't know, but at the end of these videos, there's usually outtakes and little funny pieces. What people also don't know is I've got a store and somewhere in these videos, there's a picture of Deadpool. I'm gonna put Deadpool on that little thing over there. Yeah, do you see him? Okay, so sometimes in my videos, he will pop up. The first person that comments on YouTube only, because it's easier to manage like that, where he is and gives me the time code of where they saw Wade Wilson or Deadpool in the video, it doesn't count when I show him. It needs to be random, okay? You will get yourself 10% off voucher to the Impact Pro Shop. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Love you. That's not my outro. That's Demolition Rounds. I'm just going to say bye. Okay, bye. bad pretty cool uh, and the tree is gonna grow with her and there's a duck Fuck. South Africa to be specific to be specific South Africa to be specific anyway 
I think RX knocked it out the park with this. Uh, woo! Shucks! That's demolition runs. I'm just gonna say bye. Okay, bye. I nearly walked into the barricade. <laughs>